Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we'll be dealing with um, um, the application of principle of tangency, right? I'm going to be reproducing some figure. As you can see, the figure at the right corner of the screen. That figure is called an electric bulb. All right. The electric bulb you are using in front of your house, even perhaps inside your room, is what you are seeing on the record of the screen. So we are told to reproduce that figure. So we can only produce that figure by applying what the principle of tangency. My first task now is to draw a um, horizontal line to have a center point, right? So I'll take my T square this way. I will draw a vertical line, horizontal line, rather, this way, right? So I haven't drawn my horizontal line, I'll pick a point. How do I do that? I'll take my T square this way. I will draw a vertical line from this point here upward. Okay, let's take it up very well so it can. Alright, I have this, right? Alright, the meet at this center point, right? Now, my first task now, if you observe closely in that figure, as you can see my arrow indicating, that point there, that point you are seeing my arrow indicating, I'm going to be drawing a radius of what? 48. So, I will measure 48 on arrow from this point here, 48, right? 48 to this point, right? So, I will take it at this point. Right, and I will draw twin circle this way. Right, I won't draw my twin circle. I will make sure my line will come out this way. Just draw a line outside. So I can extend it this way. This is my circle, right? That's my first tax. My second tax is that from this point, there is a distance of what oh, three ahead, above, right? So as you can see my arrow indicating. So from this point, I'll make a three upward. The three to this point, right? At that point, I will draw a vertical line, a horizontal line either. Right horizontal line, long one, short one, 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 long one. Short one, long one. I have this. Right? From here to here to three, as you can see in front of you. All right, from this point here, there's a distance of what? 60, right? So I'm just 60 again. So from this point here, right, to this point here is 60. As you can see, let me show you. All right, I will measure 60 from this point to this point is my point 60, right? So here's my point 60, right? So at that point, I will take my T square to that point this way. I will draw horizontal line, faint line, right? So having done all this, my next task is that at this point here, Right, there is a distance of what 24. Right, 24. So, measure half of 24. 24 that is 12. Half of 24 is 12. Measure 12. That's 1.2. From this point to this point is 12. Place it at this point. Strike an arc here yeah, and put the same arc at this point. My next task is to take those points, taking it together. A thick line from this point to this point, a thick line. So I have that right. I have what you're seeing in front of you. All right, my next approach now is that since I've drawn this, I will take my set square this way, I will draw this line downward 
the faint line, come to the other side, draw it downward with a what? A faint line. So I haven't done this. The distance from this point to somewhere here is 21. Right? So I'm here 21 and meter rule. 21, that is 2.1. 21.1 I have it here so taking so taking this point here to this point you have drawn 21 I have this all right let's close it up from this point here I close it up the thick line to the next point then I finally would close it this point here all right I will make sure and I will extend this line downward a little bit. This one is already down a little bit. I'll take my T square, extend this point a little bit, and extend this other point here a little bit this way. Right? If you observe closely, there's an arc at this point of what? Radius of what? Of six. Right? So how do I produce out that arc? Alright. How do I produce that arc? There's my here is the idea, please. The radius there is going to be 6, right? And one thing to note is that that figure are seeing the um, right hand side is equal to what to be what in the left hand side is a symmetrical figure, right? Anything that is here is what to be here, right? So we can see that in this place there is a radius of 6 here, but it is not shown at this place. So it simply means whatever is going on here is what is going on here, right? So <coughs> I will measure out. I will measure out um, 6 from this point to this point is 6, right? So I will take my pin at this point, strike an arc down and um, up this way, right? You can see down and up. Similarly, come to this point, down, up, and down this way, right? So I will not at this point here, this point here, this point here, this point here, and this point here, as you can see. So at this point and this point, I will extend it down the faint line, a little bit down this way, the faint line. So this point here, down with the faint line, right? Similarly, come to this point here, down with the faint line. I have this. So I'll take my radius, you know I've not shifted it from this point here to this point, take it 6. From this point here to this point, take it 6. I have that. My next step is that with that same radius, come to this point. Let's call this point, point Q, and let's call this point, point R. Right? So take your point compass to point Q, which is radius of 6 and draw arc that is connecting this this way with a thick line i have this similarly come to point r at this point and draw the arc right so draw it this way so I have this. So similar, I will take, I will extend this point downward with a, with a straight line, right? You can see. So at this point, to draw it down the straight line. So I have this, right? So you can see what I'm doing. Now my next task now is that if you observe closely. There is an arc, right? Radius of what? 48. That arc has radius of 48 from this point, right? So I will measure 48 on my compass. 48. 5, 6, 7, 8, 48. From this point to this point, 48. Right? So I will take my compass at this point here. Here. You can see this point here. Strike an arc somewhere here. That same radius. Come to this point here. Strike an arc somewhere here. 
where they meet, just take it with that same radius at this point here. Take it down this way. The faint line. You can stick it into this point. Right? Just stick it into this point. We then build down the faint line. As you can see. Similarly, come to this point here where it meets at this point. Right? Let me show you. At that point, take it down with a faint line. You can just stick in this point here. Right? So I have this. So what's my next approach? My next approach is that um, there's a radius here. As you can see my arrow indicating. This is of what? 18. So I'll measure 18 on my meter rule. From this 18 on my meter rule to 18, that's 1.8. From this point to this point is 18. Alright, at this point here, please. I'll place it at this point here. Can you see that? Strike an arc up, strike an arc down. Right? Similarly, come to this point too. Place it at this point here. Strike an arc up and arc down this way. So come to this point here. Strike the arc. Come to this point here. Cut the arc this way. Similarly, come to this point. At this point here. Strike the arc this way. At this point here, cut the arc. Right? So where the arc meet, I will call it P and what? Q. Now, two point Q, at this point, con con Q, I will draw a thick line this way. Can you see that? have this similarly come to point Q P other other point to this point draw it this way a thick line connect them together so I have this right my next task now is to take my pin at this point and thinking this part Taking it, taking it, right. So I have this. This is my bob you are seeing in front of you, right. What's my next tax? My next tax is to what dimension this, right? To dimension it. How do I go about that? So we have successfully replicated what you're seeing at the right corner of the screen to this. If you found this video helpful, kindly click on the subscription button and like. Thank you.